Hello guys and welcome to today's video. Today I'll be talking about a Newton's Cradle and first I'll tell you the principle behind this and then how in SOLIDWORKS you can create your own assembly of a Newton's Cradle and then go about doing its animation. So first it basically uses two main principles, conservation of momentum and conservation of energy. So the ball at this side is basically lifted to one end and then it's basically left so under the influence of gravity it falls and strikes these three balls. Uh, the ball, the energy from this ball gets transferred to each and every consecutive ball. So these three balls would basically remain at rest, and the ball at this end would get lifted to the, this side. So after this, I'll be explaining how you can make this assembly. So first, I'll be explaining all the parts. Uh, so first is basically the ball connecting rod and the ball. So as you can see, the command that I've used it's pretty simple. Just first, you'll use the revolve command to make this ball, and the ball boss extrude command to make this ball connecting rod. So nothing much into it, and the frame is also pretty simple. Uh, you can just use all those uh, extrusion and revolve based commands in the feature tab so as to make it. Uh, you can first of all make a sketch of this in this similar fashion and then extrude it into this direction to make this one and so the principles and the commands that have been used are pretty simple behind this as well so there I'll go to new I'll click on assembly click on ok ok first I'll be clicking on this option so what this does it does not allow uh, this menu or this option box to go away when you will incorporate a particular object into your main frame and uh, since they are basically five pivot joints so I'll bring about five ball rods click on OK and uh, then I'll click on this goggle tab and make this temporary axis to be visible now I've done this so that uh, it basically helps in mating so first click on this axis of the frame and then go and select the axis of this ball connecting joint click on OK and and then select the fa this face of the ball connecting rod and mate it with this face of the frame there we go so what this basically helps in achieving is the fact that it constrains its motion to one degree freedom system that is uh, it can only rotate in this plane so we'll basically follow the similar procedure for all other balls and then finally we get the same Newton's cradle which will be looking like this now what I'll do I'll create a new motion study and show you how you can go about doing its animation so click on this tab and go to the analysis and one thing is motion analysis is used everywhere where uh, you want the properties of the materials to come into picture or you want gravity to be part as well so first we'll click on gravity and click on the y-axis click OK then what we'll do we'll go to this contact option and deselect this material and friction now why I have done this because of the fact that I am basically making a material so that the coefficient of restitution of impact is 1 and no other material would basically offer so it's a customized material and therefore you'll have to select it you have to deselect the material and the friction option so we'll click on one click on ok and obviously select the two objects where you want the coefficient of restitution to be one so we'll follow the similar procedure for all other contacts and then uh, after making this click on calculate motion So as you can see from this motion, this motion isn't a perfect SHM. Uh, this is basically because of the fact that if we go into the solid body contact option, there in this impact, uh, there are a lot of other parameters as a, such as stiffness, exponent, maximum damping and penetration. So uh, the problem with this is the fact that even after making the coefficient of restitution to be one, uh, the these parameters, uh, since I have not tampered with them, the motion that is basically caused 
uh, is not a perfect ideal one so if a person has enough knowledge uh, he can change these parameters as well so as to make this an ideal motion and make it a perfect shm so thanks for watching feel free to leave comments below and subscribe to the channel if you like i will be showing a lot more great videos like this one ahead thanks